1968 Sugar Bowl, Wikipedia article audio. The 1968 Sugar Bowl featured the 6th-ranked Wyoming Cowboys and the unranked LSU Tigers, played on January 1st at Tulane Stadium in New Orleans, Louisiana. Wyoming was the only undefeated team in the nation among major schools, but LSU was favored by a touchdown. Following morning rains, the game was played in the early afternoon on soggy natural turf and climby 45 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures. After a scoreless first quarter, Wyoming drove 80 yards and scored on a one-yard sweep run from halfback Jim Kidike. Jerry DePoister added field goals of 24 and 49 yards and the Cowboys led 13-0 at halftime. In the third quarter, LSU running back Glenn Smith came off of the bench and scored on a one-yard touchdown run, making the score 13-7. In the fourth quarter, Tiger quarterback Nelson Stokely completed touchdown passes of 8 and 14 yards to end Tommy Morell as LSU rallied for a 20-13 win. The last score occurred with more than four minutes remaining. Quarterback Paul Toscano advanced the Cowboys deep into LSU territory. But Wyoming flanker Gene Huey was tackled and bounced on the five-yard line and time ran out. Smith, a third-string sophomore, entered the game late in the third quarter and was named the game's most valuable player. This was the only victory for the Southeastern Conference this bowl season. Ole Miss lost the Sun Bowl, Alabama the Cotton, and Tennessee the Orange. Pound signed denotes BCS National Championship game.